Right, good morning. Welcome to another uh, beach metal detecting session with me and Les. Um, today we just wanted to go down to the Golden Mile. Uh, I wanted to do the beach I did last time, uh, a few days ago. And uh, unfortunately the tide was in, so it stopped me doing the whole beach. Well, today the tide was going to be out, so I was determined that I was going to cover the entire beach. And Les just wanted to get out into his usual area and do his um, his wet sand like he normally does, looking for the old pretty decimals. So um, this is how we got on. Right, I'm down to my little beach again today. The one I did on the last video, or the one I did really well on, on the last video. Uh, next to this jetty again. And uh, seeing as the tide's out this morning, I thought what I'd do is come out and just concentrate on the wet sand, which is what I'm on now. And the first coin of any real note is a 50 pence piece. I've had um, a couple of fives and a penny already, but there's no point in filming them. So yeah, first coin of note, 50p. Right, my second find of any note is a ring. Clean the glove off. There's a ring. It's a broken ring. It's, uh, it's got a very garish stone on it. Clearly a bit of costume jewellery, a bit of bling. This little ring. Yeah. Right, let's keep going. Right, next coin is the traditional. 20 pence piece. Didn't think it'd be long before I found one of these. All right, there's another fella out here, way out on the uh, wet sand, probably a couple hundred yards away from me. He's um, he's down there digging. I'm assuming he's a bait digger, but he could be a metal detectorist. And Les is way off down there, down the uh, down the mile, about halfway down the mile towards the Sea Life Adventure. But yeah, next coin, 20p. Morning. Uh back at the uh, sea life center again i've gone it out exactly where i was uh, in the last couple of times uh just coming out onto the wet got this signal it's quite deep showing about 17 looks like a 50p <sighs> yeah they normally come up as uh 15 I thought yeah well it's a 50p that's a I've had a couple of little bits of alley just on the way down the beach but uh, this is the first decent target oh lost it now there you go 50p all right next coin is a little George the fifth I think it's a sixpence it's not a bad little phone isn't it oh, it's a bit grubby but it's a uh, yeah, it's a little silver Georgia sixth, uh, Georgia fifth, sorry. Yeah, chuff with it. Looks like it's got quite good detail on it. I don't know how well that's coming up on the camera. But there you go. Next coin, I think, Georgia fifth, sixpence. Right, I think I've got another little pocket spill here because I've just had a penny out of this. And now I've got a 50 pence and there are still other signals in here. Right, next coin is uh, another 20 pence piece and uh, the sky is starting to show a bit of light now so I'll give it another half an hour I shouldn't need the head torches anymore oh this is this is out there and this is torch right there's another fella out there who I think is metal detecting he's moving around way too much to be bait digging see his torch flashing Right, anyway, next find, 20 pence piece. Right, next coin, I'm going to have to say is a 10p. I can't see exactly what it is, but it's just simply due to the fact it was a 14 signal. The only coins I ever find on a 14 signal are 10p's, which is what I think this is. There we go, 10 pence piece. Right, this is the... Uh first tar good target for a long while actually I've had lots of like five P's and well not lots a few five P's GoPro's been playing up as soon as I find a nugget it did pack up completely so just got that running 
But yeah, just found a nugget right on the surface, really loud as well. Oh, there goes me scoop. Yep, nugget, first nugget. Right, I'm back up on my actual the actual dry sand part of the beach now. And when I did the beach last time I remember I came down came down from the cut to this slab down here. I'm now working my way back along here, so I've worked my way more or less back up to where I am, and I've just had out of this hole here a pre decimal penny. I can't see who it is, but it's got all this stuff attached to the back of it which I cannot get off. This big thick build up of stuff, but it's clearly a pre decimal penny. I might get some detail off of that, I'm not 100% sure. Hopefully, this stuff on the back has protected the other side. So this is going to have to be one which is identified later on. Les is still out on the wet. The other fellow that's out there is way out now. I don't know what he's doing. But I might go and uh, see here. Oh, hang on. There you go. All that stuff has just broken off the back. And I don't think it has protect, uh, protected the back. I don't know if I'd ever identify this one. Uh, right, I don't want to rub it any more than that. Anyway, next coin, a pre decimal penny. Alright, next coin. Oop. Damn. Another 20 pence, please. Alright. I'm going to find Les soon, we'll have a chat with him, see what he's found. Right, they do say red sky in the morning, shepherd's warning, so it's not looking too good for today. Uh, the tide is on its way in now, so if I'm going to do any wet, I'm going to have to get out and do it now. So I'll head off and have a little chat with Les. Right, next coin, uh, this hole here, last 20p out of that hole there, another 20 pence. It's starting to get busier down here now with people, so uh, I'm going to head off out to the wet soon. But this beach, because we've had a lot of wind over the last few days, it might still produce, so... Uh, Let's keep going. Well, the next coin I thought was a 20 pence piece. I've just cleaned it off and it's round. So I don't know what this one is. This is going to require further identification. Um, can't really see too much on it, unfortunately. So I think it could well be another pre-decimal. I'm not sure. But we'll find out after I've cleaned it up. Alright, let's keep going. And there it is. It wouldn't be a session anymore without me finding one of these. An old round pound. Next coin, another 20 pence piece. And you've got to bear in mind, all these coins I'm finding now are coming off a section of beach which I smothered on my last outing. So the wind is still doing its magic. But anyway, another 20. That's where I got the 20 from. That's where I got the 50 from. So, 50 pence number three. The only thing I'm lacking is a nugget. All right, that's what I said the 20 and the 50 from. Those two holes there. Come to here, round pound number two. There's still no nuggets, and this is the spot where I had a round pound before and also had a nugget here and I said about them not being in circulation at the same time yeah it's exactly the same spot so it must have been part of that right round pound number two all right next coin is a 20 pence piece which I just found laying on the surface I also found two five pence pieces laying on the surface right with it so that's another little coin spill I'm on the other side of the little jetty now just come over to the other side just came underneath it and worked my way up and I'm going to do this little cut along here now and coming up in a little wash bit I've just found two 5p's and a 20p just laying on the surface right next coin another 20 pence piece the time is now um, currently to 20 past 8 so we are gradually now going to work our way back to the cars which are not too far away from where those two blue roofs are up ahead which is the sea life adventure it's, there's a long car park there and the cars are at this end of that car park as you can see now the tide is firmly at the bottom of the beach 
so there'll be no more wet sand detecting today. But I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Unfortunately, Les was operating on the wrong settings apparently earlier on, so he's not done that well at the moment. But there is still time. Right, my next find, and probably my last, a little brass earring. Which is bloody deep, and it gave me a 23 signal. I thought I'd finally got my nugget. So, anyway, that's my last signal. There's Les over there walking down the beach. Our cars are literally there. So, that's it. So, I'll see you on the roundup. Right, well, I had another good session on my little beach. Uh, Les, unfortunately, was having all sorts of trouble with his GoPro today. So, his filming, as, you'll, as you've just seen, his filming was at a minimum. Uh, in the end he gave up trying to switch it on because every time he tried to switch it on it just wouldn't go So he got fed up with taking the battery out putting the battery back in and not having any luck So um, he's found more than you saw in the film and you'll see this in the uh, photographs that are coming up in a minute um, Right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video and um, I don't know when we're next going out But as soon as we do you'll know about it because there'll be another video posted. So until then Bye-bye for now